The opportunity for success is often fleeting. Rare is it that success endures for a generation. Beach Aircraft has experienced 25 years of turboprop leadership in the aircraft industry since it introduced the King Air in 1964. Beach recognized an opportunity to revolutionize general aviation by combining the technologies of a proven airframe and the burgeoning development of the turboprop engine. The developmental stages of the King Air evolved from a U.S. Army request to combine the reliability and performance advantages of the Pratt & Whitney PT-6 turbine engine with the accepted airframe of the Beach Queen Air and produce a multi-role fixed-wing turboprop. Hence, the U.S. Army U-21A was Beach's first step towards producing turboprop aircraft. The U-21A was the springboard for the development of reliable and economical corporate transportation as we know it today. Beach Aircraft's success story began on January 24, 1964, with the first flight of a pioneer, the King Air Model 90. With a gross weight of 9,300 pounds, the Model 90 could transport its passengers comfortably at a speed of 220 knots. Utilizing the Pratt & Whitney PT-6A-6 engine rated at 500 shaft horsepower, the King Air 90 now offered corporate travelers unparalleled comfort and reliability. As the King Air grew in acceptance, Beach continued its philosophy of product improvement and refined the King Air A90 with the introduction of the PT-6A-20 turbine engine. The addition of reversible propellers provided additional operational flexibility by reducing its landing distance. Realizing that King Air customers were demanding more improvements from the King Air as it matured, the King Air B90 incorporated several major changes. Improving performance with the PT6A-20 engine by increasing the power output from 500 to 550 shaft horsepower. Wingspan was increased 2 feet to a length of 50 feet. The longer wing and increased horsepower enhanced the B90's performance at higher altitudes. Beach also offered an optional bleed air pressurization system. In 1969, Beach introduced the King Air 100. Utilizing the cabin cross-section from the King Air 90, the cabin was lengthened four feet. This permitted two additional passengers to travel in the executive configuration and increased the 100's total passenger capacity to 15 when configured for high-density seating. For the next nine years, the King Air 100 underwent two model changes. The King Air A100 was introduced in 1972. The A100 useful load was increased 597 pounds when its gross takeoff weight was increased to 11,500 pounds. The A100 was the first off-the-shelf pressurized aircraft purchased as a fleet by the U.S. Army. Designated the U-21F, the A-100 is still utilized by the Army today to support command and staff transportation. The second model change for the 100 took place in 1976. The King Air B-100 with its Garrett Air Research TPE-331-6 turbine engine optimized the B-100's economy and boosted its speed by 27 knots over the A-100. Beechcraft's continued philosophy towards product improvement inspired the introduction of the King Air C-90 in 1970. Initially, the C-90 utilized the PT-6A-20A. In 1976, however, Beech installed the PT-6A-21 turbine engine. The C-90 had an improved environmental system. It now utilized bleed air for cabin pressurization and cabin heating. In 1972, the King Air E-90 was introduced. Having a gross takeoff weight of 10,100 pounds, the E-90 had a 224-pound useful load advantage over the C-90. The E-90 also was powered by the PT-6A-28 turbine engine, rated at 680 shaft horsepower and flat rated to 550 shaft horsepower. With the option of either the C-90 or E-90, the customer could choose a Model 90 based on his need for useful load and performance. 
The F90 injected a unique design and function into the Model 90. Appearing in the market in 1979, the F90 offered 18 knots more speed and 317 pounds more useful load than the E90. Displaying the distinctive T-tail design, it was renowned for its crisp handling characteristics and its trouble-free three-bus electrical system. The F90 was upgraded to the F90-1 in 1983, the first King Air to use the Pito Cal. This design increased the ram air efficiency to the engine and raised its speed 15 knots without additional power. The C90 was not neglected during this era of King Air improvements. The C90-1 was introduced in 1982. Improvements were increased cabin pressurization from 4.6 to 5.0 PSI, a 15 knot speed increase, and a cockpit update. Then, in 1983, the C-90 was transformed into the C-90A. Utilizing the Pito Cal, it offered a 247-knot maximum cruise speed, a 12-knot increase. In 1987, the gross takeoff weight was increased to 10,100 pounds. Now, the C-90A could carry a 1,000-pound payload with full fuel. From 1964 to 1987, the Model 90's metamorphosis introduced to the customer a myriad of improvements that allowed the aircraft to carry more payload, farther, faster, and more economically. Beach concentrated on improvements that eased pilot workloads, soothed the passenger with interior improvements, and aircraft reliability. With an eye on the future, Beach Aircraft was to capitalize on a decade of King Air experience. And in 1974, Beach introduced the Super King Air 200. As innovative as the King Air 90 debut 10 years prior, the 200 offered long cabin comfort, 285 knot cruise speeds, impressive high altitude performance, and the very distinctive T-tail design. The 200 proved so successful that all four branches of the military recognized the 200's operational flexibility and have so far delivered over 400 military C-12s. The 200's design is as functional as it is distinctive. The T-tail offers a wider center of gravity envelope than ever experienced on any other aircraft. With a horizontal surface situated above and out of the propeller slipstream, the T-tail reduces vibration transmission to the cabin and provides total pitch authority and control during all phases of flight. The 54-foot wingspan and the 850-shaft horsepower PT-6A-41 engines placed the 200 in higher flight regimes that offered more passenger comfort and more economy. The Super King Air 200 success did not cause Beach to rest on their laurels. In 1981, Beach introduced the Super King Air B-200. The main improvement on the B-200 was the PT-6A-42 engine. Still rated at 850 shaft horsepower, the Dash 42 had an improved high altitude performance capability that increased its speed up to 18 knots over the 200. The cabin pressurization was increased from 6.0 to 6.5 PSI. Passengers now enjoyed even more comfort. With a cockpit design and cabin interior improvement, the B-200 was an indication of Beechcraft's determination to continue its product improvement philosophies. 1984 was the year that introduced the most operationally flexible King Air ever. The Super King Air 300 emerged as the essence of King Air refinements. With a 14,000 pound gross takeoff weight, the 300 could carry a full complement of passengers and full fuel over 1,500 nautical miles. The Model 300's popularity grew as the market realized that its payload and speed combination was unmatched. The 300's 317-knot maximum cruise speed highlighted its performance capabilities. The 300 offered one of the most comfortable travel environments experienced in a jet prop. Its slow-turning four-bladed propellers contributed substantially to the 300's cabin comfort. The state-of-the-art interior design typified Beechcraft's commitment to quality and excellence.
The Super King Air 300 now leads the King Air family into its second quarter century of production. The Beechcraft King Air, the symbol of excellence, the corporate jet prop that will continue to improve and grow into the future.